Hello, Slush. How are you doing? Oh, I couldn't hear that. I think you can do better. So it's great to be here. I'm super excited to be in Helsinki and to be at Slush. It's my first time, but definitely not the last. And uh, as I arrived here, I got the opportunity to see Helsinki and Slush from above in the sky sauna. How cool is that? So we're going to travel to space. Are you ready to launch? Great. One small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind, was uttered by NASA astronaut Neil Armstrong as he, as the first human ever, set foot on the surface of the moon, an event watched by half a billion people across the world. Earlier this year, on July 20th, we celebrated the 45th anniversary since the first moon landing and reflected on the fact that only 12 people have been to space, or walked on the moon, and only 540 people have been to space. Very soon, however, that is about to change, as we are at the dawn of a new commercial spaceflight era. Space is no longer in the domain of governments only, but is being democratized and fueled by the private sector. Entrepreneurs and private companies across the world, such as SpaceX, Sierra Nevada, Boeing, Virgin Galactic, x -Core, Swiss Space System, Maston Armadillo and others are developing game-changing new technology where reusable spaceships will offer increased access to space for science, for research and development, for test and evaluation, for training, education and tourism. And doing so at a much lower cost, enabling space travel for the many and allowing you and me to actually reach for the stars. Another sign of the time is collaboration. It is no longer us against them, but governments are working together with the private sector in developing this new game-changing technology for increased access and further exploration for mankind. But why on earth should we go to space? Space is critical for the advancement of mankind. To start with, as human beings, we are born explorers. It's in our DNA to push the boundaries, whether it's seeking a new trade route only to find a continent or to achieve a scientific breakthrough. And as such, space has always been a platform for science and technological advancement. We depend on space technology in our everyday lives, using satellites for communication, broadcasting, forecasting the weather or navigation. We use applications such and develop new materials, medicine, spaceflight clothing, makeup. A big shout out to Nina, who's done my space look today. So we depend on space. And the International Space Station is our research laboratory in the sky. It is one of humanity's greatest achievements, where over 15 countries have worked together to achieve the nearly impossible. And in doing so, it has attracted the brightest minds and the most dynamic teams where diversity is the catalyst for innovation. The focus is on talent rather than gender, color, belief, preference, or mobility key learning. We also need access to space to further humanity. To enable us to explore and to reach further, we need to train in space. We need to study humans, how we can behave, how can we set up a an habitat, and how can we stay longer to reach further. Investing in space is also about attracting talent. This is very important for regions, for destinations, and countries not the least. With today's technology, young talent can do anything anywhere in the world. So why should they do it here in Helsinki, in Sweden, or elsewhere? Through setting audacious goals and challenging objectives, we attract the brightest minds. And these talents will fuel other industries and help create economic growth. I believe that space is the new business frontier. There is a huge market and it's growing at a rapid pace. The global industry turnover is expected to double 
from today's 300 billion US dollar to over 600 billion in the next 10 years. Entrepreneurs or astropreneurs that we call them across the world are capitalizing on new exponential technology, developing a whole new ecosystem of products and services that are set to transform businesses and communities worldwide. The opportunities are vast and they range from satellites to spaceflight providers, human spaceflight, microgravity research, in space services, space energy and resources, space habitats and infrastructure, spaceports, training facilities on the ground, space themed clothing, entertainment, gaming, and experiences also on the ground. Like space, it's borderless and the sky is only the limit. So through new spaceflight technology, there is also an opportunity for remote areas to grow and flourish. Take Kirana, for example. It's a small town located 200 kilometers above the Arctic Circle in Swedish Lapland. Kirana is an ideal location for the Northern Lights and have attracted researchers and tourists for over 100 years. And due to its remote location and limited air traffic, there are less lights disturbing the sky, so you can actually get a clear viewing. So in Kirana, we today have a launch site for sounding rockets. We have a research institute. We have a space campus with three master's, master degrees. We have a space high school, an upper secondary school focusing on space subjects. So capitalizing on this heritage in combination with the tourism industry, Spaceport Sweden was established in 2007 with the aim to become a, Europe's gateway to space, offering space flights for scientists and tourism. So with Spaceport Sweden, we're hoping to take you as high up as you can ever dream. And through Space Travel Alliance, we're going to offer you that space flight and in the future sell tickets for tourism and science. And I'm going to show you a little bit what our ambition and dream is. From 200 kilometers above the Arctic Circle, I offer an invitation not available anywhere else in the world. A natural consequence of my courageous heritage. I am Spaceport Sweden, and Kiruna, my home in Swedish Lapland, is the heart of Europe's last great wilderness. This is the frontier, and from here, you will fly in space. I offer a trail of exploration reaching from the depths of the Earth to the edge of space, merging regional knowledge, rich cultural history and cutting-edge technology into a full spectrum of innovative opportunity. At the Earth Sky Center, you can custom design your visit and arrange for everything from learning adventures and attractions to excursions and transportation, or prepare yourself for space travel. The Spaceport Sweden Launch and Aerospace Complex will always offer you a way to fly. Northern Lights flights and authentic training simulators, plus innovative spaceflight companies like Virgin Galactic, X-Core and others, provide a hands-on dynamic environment full of authentic opportunities to participate, learn and discover. S-Range Space Center, Europe's principal rocket launch facility, is nearby along with the Swedish Institute of Space Physics, the foremost research center in the world for the study of Northern Lights. And what adventurer wouldn't jump at the chance to travel 540 meters deep into the world's largest and most innovative underground iron mine? This portfolio of adventure will attract 145,000 explorers to Spaceport Sweden every year stimulating economic growth in hospitality and tourism, and the growing commercial space industry. I am so much more than a destination. I am a pioneer. I am an educator. I am a research and business partner. I inspire people because the most important space is created in minds and hearts. I am Space Sport Sweden, your next great adventure.
So on a grander scale, new technology and increased access to space will create such exciting business opportunities for everyone, but it will also help empower the Earth. Through miniaturization, we are now seeing the development of CubeSats or even NanoSats. These are smaller satellites weighing no more than a couple of kilos or even grams. And being considerably cheaper to launch, these are being used by smaller companies, startups, or university departments across the world, using them for broadcasting or entertainment to monitor crop or even cattle. And through this new technology and the small components being developed, being used in smartphones and other consumer electronics, we will give access to education, medical support, and business platforms that is just going to transform communities as we start to reach all the corners of the Earth. In a rapidly changing world, an innovation economy, we must dare to set audacious goals. It is no longer enough to be adaptable to change, but we must dare to lead, both to stay competitive, but also to attract talent. There is no greater challenge than space, and it will attract the brightest minds who also have the courage to actually do something that is greater than themselves. From space, you don't see any country borders. You don't see any differences between people. We are all one. And seriously, we need to start behaving like it. We were all born to be great. And as the sky is no longer the limit, I encourage you all to challenge yourself. Take that small step. It might just become the next giant leap for you, for your business, or for your society. Someone once said that our generation was born too late to explore the Earth and too early to explore the stars. But I think that through these pioneering, pioneering leaders and the entrepreneurs that keep pushing the boundaries, space is really closer than you think. Thank you.